Hello all, uh, and welcome to part two of our tricky questions on map scales. And the next one uh, on the agenda is on page 23. It's also part of exercise 20, but it's the last question. So obviously the trickiest, well that's what we usually think, and it's question eight. Okay, so I'll just read this to you. It says, on a map of scale 1 to 20,000, the area of a forest is 50 centimetres squared. On another map, the area of the forest is 8 centimetres squared, so find the, uh, find the scale of the second map. Okay, so what I like to do usually is to draw a picture of this. It just helps me to visualise what's going on. So, the first map has an area of 50 centimetres squared, okay? And the second map is of exactly the same place, the same area, except it only uses 8 centimetres squared to show the same area. Okay, so in this instance, we're looking at areas, all right, and it's very, very easy to see how we would find the area scale factor here. Hopefully you can see the area scale factor is what we multiply 8 by to get 50. And the way that we work that out is to do 50 divided by 8. So that would give us an answer of 6.25, 6 okay? So that is called the area scale factor. Now then, um, eventually our aim is to find the scale of this, which is all about length, isn't it? Length is all, uh, scale is all about length. So this one's already got a scale of 20,000. Okay, it tells us that in the question. So we need to find this. We need to find that mystery number that would go here, one, two, whatever it is. Now we need to think very logically and think about the real life application of this problem. If this first map has this area of 50 centimeters squared showing a particular area in real life, and this one's only 8 centimetres squared. I hope you agree that this one's a bit more zoomed in, okay? And that means that for every centimetre, it means more in real life, okay? So this one's 20,000. This one's going to be a bigger number. I hope you can see that, okay? And now we've got the area scale factor. That's going to enable us to find the length scale factor. Now, usually in the, in the previous questions, we've gone from length scale factor to area scale factor. And the way that you did that was to square. But in this instance, we've got to go the other way around. We've got to go from area scale factor to length scale factor. So how do we find that? Well, it's the inverse operation of squaring. Okay, so hopefully you agree that that's the square root of the area scale factor. Okay, which we found to be 6.25. So the length scale factor can be found to be square root of 6.25, which is, what is it, 2.5. Okay. So the length scale factor is 2.5. Now let's think about this very carefully. The first map has a scale of 20, 1 to 20,000. And we need to now think about how we would find the scale of this one. And we've already talked about how this is zoomed in. Okay, So hopefully you can see that we're going to take this 20,000 and we're going to times it by 2.5 to get our final answer of 1 to 50,000. And that... Ladies and gentlemen, is our final answer. A very tricky question. Um, tricky because we haven't done a lot of ratio and pr proportion, actual problem, real life problems that deal a lot with length scale factor and area scale factor. But as we come on to that, as we cover that topic, this should be a bit more straightforward if it were ever to come up on an exam. Okay, you'd, I think you'd be a bit more confident in the future once we've covered that future topic. So um, a bit tricky at this stage, definitely different from what we've encountered previously but nothing beyond you there okay I'm sure you can all understand that as it's explained okay so in future just my recommendation is to draw a picture and just follow it through logically okay and do your best congratulations if you got that yourself uh, that's excellent and if not hopefully you understand it now okay